Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's choose a different character for this cup since I'm choosing different ones for each one. Hey, baby Mario, how's it going? I'll choose you this time. Wait, actually, I haven't cho chose uh, Luigi, so I might as well do baby Luigi instead, because I already chose Mario last time. And yeah, you get the idea. And uh, I'll choose this one for the heck of it just because it looks pretty silly. Just imagine. Uh, baby carriage like that. Imagine it, just roaming across the road with a baby driving it at high speeds. Picture that. Yes, I know you laugh just picturing that. Okay, drive, drive ruins. Here we go. There's pokies roaming around this place. It is indeed dry. This is a Paper Mario reference, if you didn't know that. You should definitely play Paper Mario. It's a good game. This game is also a good game, I should mention. But here we go. Um... Uh, depending on which lap it is, you'll notice that those pillars will also fall down on other laps as well. Don't knock me into the water, please, people. I would like to win some races. <laughs> then again, I haven't played in a while, so I have sort of an excuse. Yay! Woo! That was... <laughs> the top of the carriage opens up. I never noticed that before. Then again, I don't think I used this car before, so that would explain it. Oh, boy! No, no, no! Not in the wall! Not in the wall! That worked out. <laughs> that worked out pretty decently, I think. And on the first lap or two, I believe you can go through this center area, which is the fastest way. But on the third, you're going to have to take the long way around it. If you have a mushroom, you can take a shortcut right through there, that straight area that the red shell went through. And just take a shortcut, I guess. What else am I trying to say here? It would save you time. And wahoo indeed! Go Luigi! I believe in you! Well, baby Luigi. And it's said in Mario history, or seemingly, that Baby Mario and Baby Luigi seem to be different Mario characters altogether. That's how they seem to appear in different games, or at least that's what it seems like. I don't know how that works. Um, maybe Mario and Peach and Luigi and Daisy had a love child or something like that. I don't know, but that's just what they seem to be hinting, because you'll notice that in a lot of games, as I said, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi will, pe will appear in the same game that uh, Mario and Luigi will appear in, unless it has to do with the whole uh, Mario and Luigi partners in time thing, where they went back in time to meet up with the babies or something like that, and they ended up teaming up. I don't know. Maybe that's the uh, predecessor of how these babies got into the modern Mario world. It is a mystery yet to, s yet to be answered. Just like how much bacon can the average human eat. So, we're just going through the last lap here, avoiding the swoopers on this area. These really don't get in the way all that much. They only come in pairs or so, and they're really spaced out, so it's easy to predict where they're going to be, so you don't have to worry about it. And you'd also notice that the sand fills up the area on each lap, so that's that's why you can't go through that center area on the third lap there, because it hinders you too much. So, well, unless you have a mushroom or something like that. If you have a mushroom, feel free to just jump right through there. Woo! Come on, baby, you can do it! Get to at least second place, I'm hoping. Take the inside out. No, 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 no! Ah, Third place! Beat by Luigi himself. Well, I guess that was a decent race. Sort of, maybe. Anyway, next race, here we go. This one is... The Moonview Highway. I, I never liked tracks like this in Mario Kart games because the fact that you just never know when you're going to take a corner and you're going to get blindsided by a car. There's just so many cars on the road, it's so hard to stay in the center of the track where it's safe or near the inside of the track where it's safe. So it, it's just one of those things of, oh, so much luck involved. Do not like. Like, see, I want to I wanna hug this line here just to ensure that I stay safe most of the time. Uh, but that's not ideal for time trials or even Grand Prix most of the time. So... Yeah, it's a risk-reward sort of thing that you got to take quite a few risks in order to get good times on these tracks. And why am I not taking the boosters? I am being a silly meaner. And yes, those booster things that I should be following down the track as well. Um, they also crisscross throughout the track, so you'll never know when you have to avoid a car or you'll just be able to go straight through without any trouble whatsoever. There's also bomb cars where if you hit them, they, they will have the same effect 
as a, like this one right there, it'll have the same effect as if you got hit by a bomb bomb or a blue shell. So you definitely want to avoid those as they waste a lot of time if you get hit by them. I'm doing pretty decently actually, or everyone else is doing really bad, but as I said before in earlier parts, I shouldn't say that because whenever I say I'm doing good, I start doing bad. <laughs> So let's just say I'm doing the worst run in hit. Oh, oh see, I already cursed it. <laughs> Look at my wheels. <laughs> They're like awkward shaped. They're like ovals. I'm riding on ovals and it's still working out. I'm still driving smooth somehow. And final lap. Yeah, I think a lot of the characters seem to be oh, doing very badly. And this flattening effect also happens if you get hit while you are tiny, like when you're hit by a thunderbolt. I also noticed I'm not getting hit by a lot of things other than those uh, blue shells. I think that's because the cars are blocking out the red shells, so that works in my favor as well. Okay, I'm starting to like this track again. <laughs> this is going... No, no, don't change lanes! How dare you change lanes! Did he put on the signal? I didn't see him put on the signal. Ah, oh, car says! <laughs> These... Oh, 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 and blasphemy. That is all my thoughts of this, even though I'm way ahead in first place. Look at the map! I'm way ahead of Mario. Happy days. Finish line for the win. I am a joyous baby. Yay! And next track. Come on, hurry, 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 go! I have no patience for this blasphemy. Bowser's Castle! I love this track lots. And just because I say that I love it, I'm probably going to do horrendous at it, and you guys are all going to laugh. And then it's all going to be a grandiose time in the comments, and then I'm going to be sad. Well, actually, I won't be sad, because as long as I make people happy, I'll be happy myself. Here we go! And we start out with a crazy jump over lava, and you would think being this close to lava would, you know, burn you by sheer proximity, but that it not the case. Maybe it's because you're moving so fast that the heat can't touch you, but it's already been shown in Mario Kart games that you only go about 50 to 60 miles per hour, so unless you're using a mushroom boost or something like that. But otherwise, you would think you would get scorched pretty well. Um, there's some jumps over here and some mud and stuff like that to slow you down. I had to take the middle route there because I ended up in a bad position, but most of the time, you want to take the jumps off the half pipe to save some time. Look off the lava blooms! You can tell where they're coming up. By looking at the burnt marks on these uh, fences, grates, whatever you want to call them, that are uh, across the floor there. Oh boy, I think the lava burnt right through the cement or something like that, and it's only showing the metal that's holding them together on the inside. And I'm no, no, no! I didn't want to get hit by the fire bars of Mario One. Or at least put me on the other side of it. This is a catastrophe all around, and I did that power side way too early. Um, on this part of the track, you notice that there's these mini volcanoes are popping out of the ground. Well, you can boost off them as shown there if you shake the Wii Remote or jerk back on it, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, ooh, go blue shell, destroy the person in first place because I'm not the person in first place. So that makes me quite a happy baby. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, go, go, no, 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 oh, that's gonna work, okay, shh, <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work out there, because I was boosting around these tight corners, but it did okay, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that, oh boy, Bowser's bowling, or at least the statue is, and carefully go along the edges here, oh, come on, and I went up the edge, that deserved a boost and a jump off the half pipe, if I ever seen one before, and I just almost got bumped into that dang fire bar as well, Luck is obviously not on my side in certain cases. Ooh, triple mushroom, triple mushroom. I can use this for sure. And here I'll work as well. And no, 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 tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Okay, that worked. That worked okay. And this time I don't have to worry about the fire bar because the timing is a lot better. Triple mushroom. I said triple mushroom for the win, but it turned out to be a loss because I got smooshed by giant Mario there. Curses. Uh, I hope Rainbow Road turns out a lot better. Final lap. Here we go! And then the final track of the newer tracks of this game, and then I'll be covering the uh, retro tracks of the game, if that wasn't blatantly obvious, as I said that in the first part. And Star Power! Oh, I should also mention that stars don't really make you turn that much tighter than, 
when you're t turning normally. So that could be quite a problem for you if you didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Dang it, I didn't go up the half pipe again. I hate that section now. <laughs> this is like the worst race in history. And I mean worst. I've done so much better on this track. <laughs> I used to do so much better on this track, actually. Bullet Bill, Bullet Bill, Bullet Bill, go, 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 go. I believe in you, my bullet friend. I believe in you. Not over the lava, okay. <laughs> I almost fell into lava due to the bullet running out at the last second, but luckily that wasn't the case. Whoa, wait, wait, I have a chance. I have a chance at third. Oh, no, I don't. Fourth place. Well, that was quite the recovery, I have to say, on the last lap. So I guess that wasn't too bad. And I'm at second place overall, so Rainbow Road might just put me right over the edge in uh, more ways than one. <laughs> if you didn't know, Rainbow Road is the kind of track that has a lot of borderless uh, uh, track area areas and two bottomless pits of death. So yeah, the only one, the only Rainbow Road that wasn't like this was Super Mario 64's, and but that one was excessively long, and I mean. Long, really, really long. <laughs> Unless you take the shortcuts, like right at the beginning. There's a shortcut if you jump right off the edge to the left side on that long downward ramp and turn to the left and hope that you land on the track to the left. Um, so that's like your only salvation if you want to make that track go a lot faster. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling to get even close to breaking six minutes on that track, and that's a long time for a Mario Kart track. So anyway, woo! Kind of like a barrel cannon here, but I think that's like a Slingshar... Slingshar... Slingstar reference to Super Mario Galaxy. There's star bits flying into the sky. Star bits! Oh, I miss saying that. I miss saying that so much. Oh... And where's Rosalina when I need her? Is she playing in this track? I don't know. Yeah, I think she is in this race. I think she really is in this race. See her on the map there? Well, she's kind of intersected there with Peach. Then again, they're like clones of themselves, so you get you get the idea. Then again, Rosalina is like the god of the Mario world, or at least that's what it seems to be implying. She is Mama of the Lumas, and yeah, Lumas bring back the galaxy if destroyed. Well, I should say universe. Once it implodes because someone questions video game logic. As I said, you've seen that happen before. Don't let it happen, people. Just don't question the game logic and you will be fine. Jeez, how many times do I have to tell you that? Do you want the universe to implode? Sheesh, people. Oh, that was, I turned way too early there. That was my own fault. Pooper, scooper. So, oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Oh, that was a really close one. I almost slid right off the edge again because of the lightning bolt there, thunderbolt, Pikachu bolt, bolt tackle, whatever you want to call it, and that's not even a tackle whatsoever. Unless you count getting shocked and then hit by some other car, that would be closer to a tackle than this. This time I'm going to take this route through here. I think this route is slightly faster from what I heard. I'm not positive though. It doesn't really feel all that much faster than the other route. But, yeah, so it's really hard to say in that regard. It's another one of those things that time trialers are going to be screaming at me in the comments. <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave it up to them to set me straight, I guess, and... Woo! Final lap, hopefully I'll be able to get first place and secure my victory, which is not looking good. Wait, maybe it's looking... Oh, I just threw my shell right off the edge. Cheap bargain price red shell. How dare you! I shouldn't have shopped at the dollar store. Uh, I should have got the premium red shells. That one was not good at homing. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. That scared me. <laughs> it was just bouncing along the track and actually managed to land on the track. And that would have been a catastrophe at that point in the track. I'm going to land. I mean, I'm, I'm going to drop a banana peel right there. Just because I want to be a douche. <laughs> so that works for... Oh, blue shell attack of death. And where? What did I get hit by... From there, I don't know. No, 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 I'm losing my spots. I'm losing my spots. Curse you, Blue Shell. Why must you cost me so many races? Why must you cause so much pain and torment? No, not the Red Shell, too. I want a Banana Shield because I'm doing so horrible. Well, not doing horrible. I'm getting unlucky at the end, but... Argh, fourth place. That makes me sad. So what, am I only going to win the first race? I should say the first cup of this entire walkthrough? I don't know. <laughs> 
So, second place this time, so I'm a little bit better than I was the last time. Let's go to the final results screen, as well as... I think it's going to show the credits, too. Uh, I don't need to show this. Will it show the credits? I think it will show the credits. If it shows the credits, I'll just show them off now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Credit time! These are the guys that people that, you know, that made the game. People and girls and family and friends. Okay, maybe not family. There could be some in the family, I don't know. Who am I to make slanderous guesses such as that? But anyway, as I said, this game is not made by me. I just made the walkthrough of it because I figured it helped entertain people along the way. That's the idea of my videos. And that's really all there is to say about this. As I said, there's not really all that much to talk about in racing games, so it's not the ideal walkthrough of sorts. Really, neither... I mean, RPGs aren't either, and neither are fighting games, because their, you know, gameplay is kind of on the repetitive side. Like, there's only one path to take on all those sort of things. Well, maybe not in RPGs, but, you know, because RPGs aren't action-based, they're usually turn-based, uh, except for the Legend of Zelda series. Those are considered RPGs. I just don't understand why they've always been considered RPGs. I, I mean, RPGs signify, I mean, says that it's a uh, role-playing game, right? Well, why is that a role-playing game as opposed to any other game, like, say, Super Mario Brothers? You're playing as a plumber, so you're role-playing as the plumber Mario. Why, why isn't that considered a role-playing game either? <laughs> what I consider role-playing games are turn-based battle games, like Pokemon, Super Mario RPG, Final Fantasy, Golden Sun, games such as that. I would consider the Zelda games an, an action-adventure sort of game. I, I never understood why they were classified under RPGs, but they always have been, and it always bugged me. So, that is my mini rant about the classification of Zelda games, but they are still great games, and I recommend that you play them as well. Um, what else do I want to say in this credit sequence? Really? Uh, nothing. <laughs> There's four more Grand Prix track sets that I'll be going through, so I guess I could have just showed the credits later. Or, I think it, it'll actually show the credits on the final cup of the Retro Cups as well, so maybe I'll just uh, cut those out instead, or maybe I'll cut these out. I'm not sure just yet. I'll have to make a decision. I'll probably just leave them in here, because these are typically the first sets of credits that people see. So, yeah, I don't think the credits are any different in the Retro Cups than they are in the uh, regular new cups for this Mario Kart. Oh, I, another mini rant about uh, Mario Kart here. Not, not about Mario Kart per se, but about the fans that perceive this the wrong way. Like, you know the Retro Cup tracks? how they brought back a bunch of older tracks from older Mario Kart games. Well, it gets critiqued for being, like, that they're reusing older material. And, you know, they could be doing something new with it. But in reality, they actually are remaking the tracks completely. Like, if you look at the Ghost Valley track from the SNES in this game, you'll notice that it's a lot bigger and it looks a lot different, it feels a lot different. It's, it's the same general track but it's a lot bigger, and yeah, it's, it's just different than the original track, so it's not a complete remake, per se. It's But people still critique that sort of thing, and I don't think that's quite right in this case. Like, I can understand that for games that don't change from game to game. That, that I could understand. Like, they don't change much in terms of gameplay or level design, or whatever you want to call it, in, in the game that would, you know, change up and make it more interesting than the last title, or stand out from the last title. Last title. Oh, that's my me, by the way, if you didn't uh, know that before. That is the Justin, and I don't think it looks anything like me, honestly. I can, I can easily make family and friends, but I just don't know why I can't make myself curses. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's it for the new tracks, and I'll see you guys in the retro tracks. Toodaloo! Um, nah, I already got a bunch of these photos.